YouTube. Wow, go on. YouTube, try stars, try stars, check it. So in this video, it's just a quick fix. One of my trailer legs are not going. For more videos like this, please subscribe. Is, because it's happened, no. It just happened. I can use her, because I'm talking to you, so you guys are gonna watch this after, it's gonna be in the past. But it is for me, because it just happened. Anyway, one of my trailer legs not going out, right? So, I didn't know. So this is it, this is it. Pick up, pick up, the, tra I pick up the trailer, Right, I pre-trip the trailer, so don't you guys don't be like, okay, you did the pre-trip. I pre-trip, I pre-trip the trailer, hooked onto the trailer, wind the leg up, but what I didn't do was look across the other leg, the other trailer leg, to see if the both of them is coming up up at the same time. So it's only one. So I thought everything was good, so I wind it up and I locked it. You know, when I said locked it, I mean like I put put away the angle the that used to wind the leg, right? And then I came in the truck, you know, I released the hair to the trailer. You know, my e-log is ready for me to go and I I just start driving. Then I hear this horrible sound. I'm like, what what did I but there was no trucks beside me i'm by myself i know i'm pinned to the trailer correctly anyway what i'm saying i'm saying one of the legs didn't came up it was down on the ground and i'm gonna show you guys what happened and how to get it fixed thanks for tuning in you know, as a boy try starts trucking and i'm back again with some new videos please give me a like if you like it after you finish watching please give me a like even now before after anyway thanks for tuning in try starts truck it Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you guys uh, what happened and how to get it fixed and no need to worry because you know it's Troy Stars at the rescue, right? Anyway, my tool pan is out. So this is it, the trailer leg is up. And the next side is down. Okay guys, so like I said, the trailer leg one is up and that would be the side that I'm, that I'm cranking up, right? And the other side is down on the ground, right? And I know you guys are gonna say, but Troy, you should have been paying attention to both legs. Well, I wasn't, okay? But anyway, we're gonna get it fixed. So what really happened was, I'm under the trailer now. So what happened was the, the screw that was that is in this same like the one over here, right? The one that is in this side fall um, fall out uh, broke not not fall out broke and here here is it. So I think it broke when I when I was winding up the leg. Maybe I'm I'm that strong. You know what I mean? You you know, you know what I mean? I'm that strong. But anyway, this is it. It's broken. So you, you can see, you can um, basically fit it inside the hole. Um, if you can find this back, you can actually wind the leg up. But you, you have to get some new bolt, else it's gonna fall out back. And then when you drop the trailer, the other driver that get it, it's gonna be in the same problem. So it's better you get it fixed than just leave it like that. Or call a mechanic attention to it if you're a company driver. Or if you're on the road, you can either, you can do a lot of things. You can put a, a padlock in it. You know, like a padlock with the same, you know, the padlock, you can just use your padlock if you have a padlock in the truck, right? This is the, this is scenarios. Just in case you run out of stuff to use to get the leg up. So you can use a padlock. You can put a padlock thing through the hole here and you can wind it up. You can use a screw, a screwdriver, any screwdriver, once it can fit inside here, or you can find you have to get something solid because you can't put a stick in there, it's gonna broke or break. 
or smash up or whatever. So you gotta put something solid in there or a nail if you can find one or any type of screw once you can get the leg moving, you'll be good. But anyway, I'm gonna show you what. So I'm gonna show you guys what size um, bolt and nut you should buy. Um, let me let me show you the invoice because I, I went ahead and I went and buy. Okay, so what happened when it happened to me? I didn't have the bolt to go in it, so I used this little little piece here and put it in there and wind the leg up back, right? So I came to a parts shop and there is it. Yeah. So you guys must be wondering in Troy. The trailer break down right in front of the, the shop. No, I just I just put the leg back down. I take this, this screw out of it. I put one leg back down just to, just to show you guys what it's like, you know what I mean? But it, it didn't happen here. The, 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 you know, I, I just do it. Anyway, um, let, let me tell you what size bolt you need to look for. Okay, so hopefully I'm, hopefully I'm reading this right. So, so all you need is is three by eight times two one i don't know what it, that i don't know how to read this but it's three by eight um uh seal and flats three by eight seal and flats i guess what they call seal is the washer we would call it washer right oh no the flats is the washer and the seal is the lot nut and the bolt is um the bolt is eight no three by eight by 21 slash two i don't know what what that is but that's what's going on and the price is a whopping two dollars anyway that's it so um now you guys know what the part is i don't know if, if, if it's our part number no but anyway maybe that's it so anyway guys i'm gonna fix so here, here, here are the screws I didn't show you. I, I, I bought like three of them because I didn't have any in the truck, so I bought like three. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put um, one of them in there. So I'm gonna put these other two in my, in my, um, in my truck just in case, just in case it happen again. I have right. So what I will need is 14, my 14 spanner. Is it yes yeah, spanner? My 14. Is it spanner or wrench? I don't even know. I don't even know tools. Oh, spanner. This is a 14 spanner. I'm gonna look for a 14 socket along with a power angle to get the job done. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna wind the leg back down to the ground before I actually put the screw in there. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna wind this leg back down. Make sure, I'm gonna make sure it's underground, right? And then put the screw back in there. I've, uh, my four, my 14 wrench and my 14 spanner and I'm gonna, you know, get the job done. Okay guys, so, um, back under the truck again. And this is the hole. So I'm gonna put the three by eight in there. Three by eight times 21 slash two. I don't know what that mean. So, um, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna put the screw in there and then, yeah. Okay, so I guess the, the eight, eight by three, the three by eight, uh, three slash eight times 21, I guess it's for the length because the, the part that go through this um, cross, cross bar or cross member here doesn't have a, 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 a what you call this now, a treading on it. It is a smooth and plain. So maybe that's, th those are those are what the number is for. I'm just guessing because I really and truly don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna tighten the, uh, the bolt. As you see, two washers on there, right? and the nut, right? So I'm gonna tighten up now with 14 and yeah.
okay so that is it guys it's all uh, bolt in right it lock so I'm gonna wind wind the legs back up now and see how this goes anyway guys if this helped anyone thank you guys for tuning in and also share it with a friend you know what I mean it's try star struck in peace hold on not Okay guys, thanks for tuning in and there's a boy Troy Star struck in. One trailer leg wasn't going up, solved the problem. And I mentioned padlock earlier. I know most of you guys may be wondering like, Troy, are you gonna use a padlock to wind the leg up? So let me explain more, cause you know you have those type of people out there, right? Okay. Okay. So this is the scenarios, right? Just in case something like this happen, right? this you guys know padlock right this is a padlock this piece that turn right here that curve if you open the padlock you can push this in the hole right you can always turn this sideways put it in the groove just to get the leg up so this is just not temporary just yeah it is temporary not permanent right you're just gonna use this put it in there and you wind the leg back up it's just things you gotta find in the truck if you're in a situation don't have any other way to he to get it up so that's what i meant anyway thank you guys for tuning in with the boy troy stars trucking for more videos like this please subscribe <laughs>